at Taylor Hyundai of Perrysburg and Taylor Hyundai of Findlay. Tonight at 6, we have several updates to breaking news stories we have been following all day. We're going to start with John Monk at our breaking news center. Well, there's new information is released from the investigation on Sunday's fatal fire in Tiffin. And two students arrested in Sylvania South. You accused of rape. We have all the details on this case coming up next. And I'll have the latest on a bomb investigation in Monclova. And I'll give you the very latest storm track Doppler. We're tracking thunderstorms and rainfall now moving in. Now, from Toledo's News Leader, this is WTOL 11 News at 6 in HD. Well, first, we begin with a story we've been following so closely this week. Early Sunday morning, a fire claimed the lives of six people in Tiffin. Yesterday, funeral services were held for those victims in Tiffin and Sandusky. Today, the state fire marshal's office released a press release with some more details. John Monk is here with those. Well, the official cause of the fire is still labeled as undetermined, but there is no evidence of any criminal activity. Now, according to this release we received just after 4 o'clock, when crews arrived just before 8 o'clock Sunday morning, they heard the smoke detectors inside the residence going off. The bodies of the four girls were found first in their bedroom and in the hallway. The body of Tim Fresh was found in the second bedroom. His son Dominic was found in a pile of clothes underneath Tim. Inspectors believe Tim was trying to protect the two-year-old. There is no conclusive evidence as to what started the fire, but investigators said they did find smoking and burning candles in the area.